Yeah, you know what? I'm afraid that uh, I've hit the wall. <laughs> I get it because there's a wall there. <laughs> oh, yes. I am hilarious. Yes. Anyway, we have once again a bit of an underdog match going on here. Silver Beast being the underdog, playing as Obokuma the Best, and he is up against the top dog, Ruba Gruber, playing as the Soviets, who apparently doesn't realize that this bulletin right here doesn't work. Well, in the sense that it doesn't apply to this, despite the tooltip says so, instead it applies to the tank hunter um, grenade assault ability. Hmm. Anyway, Silver Beast, he has locked in Grand Defensive Doctrine, and we got a little bit of shooting going on. Rupa Grupa bringing along with and got motor, but the other twin is missing there's no app on here instead we have lend lease tactics and nkvd rifle disruption tactics mm -hmm. bulletins wise silver beast he's all about buffing his uh folks grenadiers you know fast reload faster fire more accuracy and then a little extra armor for the panzer four gruba gruba this thing here is useless his cis guns can be produced faster, and they also have a little extra penetration to counter this. Ha! <laughs> anyway, um, great first engagement for Ruba Gruber, taking down two uh, Sturmpires while only losing one model. Yeah, that's what? 20 manpower versus 60? Yeah, 60. Yeah, these guys are very expensive to reinforce. Mm-hmm. Fuel secured. Also, Silver Beast apparently goes for the long game here. Mm hmm. Well, should give his infantry an itch in the late game. You know, give them the um, recon package there. Adds an extra man, adds the G43 rifle, making them more powerful. <clears throat> Curious to see that Silver Beast didn't choose to go for a Kubelwagen here oh well <clears throat> reposition himself getting a little bit of green cover benefit here I guess a little bit not much though back here oh man yeah cutoff point taken oh, that's the flak well not flak that's the half supply half track yeah Gonna set down the battle group headquarters. We have some men behind enemy lines. And they're in no danger of actually dying. Could close in on these guys here, help retake his cutoff point. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, what? That was an unnecessary retreat. I think he could have stuck around and fought harder rather than retreating everything. Oh well. Hmm. You see, if he had stuck around, yeah, sure, he might have risked losing a squad, but I don't think it was that bad. And then he could have delayed this capture even further. Hmm. Oh well. All right, Ruber Gruber, strike group one, move out. Seeing uh, some bit of a move here, I thought, but nope, now splitting up. All right. All righty then, run right in there. We got a bit of green cover over there, and uh, he elects to take the light cover, not the green cover here. That uh, must be the tree that provides some uh, light cover there. Some of the men appear to be in green. They're in the green! Money, 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 money. I'm saying. Good flank here. Silver Beast getting a little bit indecisive as to where he should stand and end up taking the middle ground, which offers, which offered no cover <laughs> at all. 
But then again, if he moved in here, then he would be within 10 range where cover wouldn't protect him against this squad, but yeah. Oh well. Foot play. Or position play. Just to avoid any misunderstandings. Charging a flamethrower here could get rough. Yeah, that's one man down. 30 manpower, 60 manpower gone. Nothing. Oh, there we go. 21 manpower. And yeah. Oh, 90 manpower lost there. Not a um, great engagement here for Silver Beast. Yikes. Yikes indeed. Stone Pioneers. They do a lot of damage up close, but so does a flamethrower. Hmm. Guards. By the way, did I? No, maybe. But now it's done. You saw nothing. Um. As always, you saw nothing. Heavy machine gun here, so probably, yeah, probably not going to go for the flak half track here. Saving that 50 fuel. He m yeah, there we go. Recon package coming in now. I noticed how little fu um, muni he had, so I thought, come on, he's gotta have spent it on one package. The thing is, they are very expensive. 80 munis. 80 munis indeed. Oh, well, there we go. Retreat, retreat. And oh boy, oh boy, Ruber Gruber calling in the 120 millimeter of pure balance. It's going to level the entire terrain. Uh, it's gonna be ages before he can get another package out. Hmm. Taking fire, and these guys running. Night vision stone gewehr. Mm hmm. 120 mm mortar. Just having a little bit of fun. Speaking of fun, Silver Beast is preparing himself for a bit of fun. And what kind of fun would that be? That would be a T70, but um, Ruber Gruber hasn't teched for any light vehicle yet. But then again, if he were to have wanted to get the T-70 out earlier, then he could have waited with pushing out the guards, get the tech structure down, get the T-70 out earlier, and then go for guards, and also then the mortar. So yeah, uh, this build here does not lend itself towards a T-70, mainly because we don't see a T-70. But even if he were to go for it now, then he could have gotten it out faster, if he so desired. Now the Raketen Werfer is just sitting there, but again, more guards. So, very infantry heavy build here from uh, Ruber Gruber. Ruber Gruber, Ruber Gruber, Gruber Gruber, I am the Ruber Gruber. Don't know what Ruba Gruber means, but it rolls nicely off your tongue. Something that's not rolling is in fact Silver Beast's fuel, as he's been cut off once again. And the Sturmpires here elected to step outside of the capping circle as they were denying the screen cover here. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, Silver Beast, plenty of manpower and. It wouldn't... He goes for the leak. I was... F <sighs> yeah, well, I suppose the leak, yeah. It will have plenty of targets to shoot at. I mean, there's gonna be infantry in cover at every corner this guy takes. So, yeah, leak. Also good uh, on such a narrow map. Like this one here, pretty much um, make sure that the league will be constantly using its auto attack. <sighs> but I was about to say, 
Should he go for another Panzer Fusilier squad here? It would help out uh, versus all this infantry here, but seeing as he doesn't have the munitions to uh, give the, the uh, recon package, then no. Should he then go for a Volksgrenadier? Not really, I'd say. Instead, save the manpower, get overs. Or even better, get tanks. But I'm sure he'll get that. But an Obersoldan squad would definitely fit well within um, Silver Beast build here. Once you can get them, of course. Once you can get them. Well, didn't get the mortar. 15 to reinforce that. Oh, no. Well, he, Silver Beast here is... Uh, gonna leave space for more Obersultaten? Ah, smoke! Eh. Well, well, at least it covers this squad's retreat. Not before they got a kill on one of them, though. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he is holding on to a victory point there, yes. So good on him. Reinforcing here. What's the plan, Stan? I wouldn't mind Silver Beast. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Getting the supply half track. I wouldn't mind him seeing setting up the Sverdepanzer headquarters now. I was about to say. He is barely holding on to his territory. I mean, this thing is now up for grabs. Fuel is, yeah, it's being covered by a heavy machine gun. Got a few Panzerfischelius down here, though. Standing. <laughs> standing. They're indeed standing. All right. And Ruba Gruber has taken defensive position um, near the middle ground. And now he is also checking up. Yeah, he's got plenty of fuel here. He, we're going to see a T-34 uh, momentarily. League away! Good damage on that sandbag. <laughs> mm, so close to that mine. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Ah, blame Klaus. He is the Bigfoot among the squad, or rather, was the Bigfoot. And now he's no foot. Yeah, that that's the thing with the Soviets. When they dig in, they tend to just throw a lot of mines around them. Yeah, toast that guy. Alright, Sverdepanzer headquarters sitting up over here. Could be vulnerable to the 120mm barrages. Or is it far enough back? Another leak for Silver Beast. Goes for the Swara Panzer authorization here. To get the gun operational, I suppose he must be a little bit afraid of his opponent here. Yeah, also spending munition on that recon smoke. Made it so that he couldn't afford this yet, but he's getting there. Meanwhile, Ruba Gruba finds the heavy machine gun. Congratulations. He didn't take the victory point, though. A mistake from his part, I'd say. Could really have put some pressure onto um, Silver Beast. You know, can't afford to be um, triple capped for long. Uh, not gonna bother with merging there. And there it is, the T-34 on its way. Uh, and Silver Beast, yeah, well... It's gonna be another Raketen for him. Another Raketen. And then by the time that is out, then we can have a look at the fuel situation. In regards to how close he is to a... A tank. 
Otherwise, I'd still say that a Noble Soldaten would do good versus what Ruba Gruber is fielding. Bar the tank, of course, but that's what the double rockets are for. Yeah, he still has minutes to go, like two and a half minutes or something like that. Pardon my quick math. Oh, gets one of the crewmen. Suppressed, all right. That ought to make their aim worse. Ah, excellent. <laughs> the league gets a uh, one heck of a good shot in their killing free, I guess. Well, there are gips over there, so yeah, free. <laughs> but then again, it's the only kills both league has. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, second Rakitten on the way. <laughs> second Rakitten is indeed on the way, gonna help him out here. But Ruba Gruba, he is already going up to the Katusha. A wise investment for him. Silver Beast does indeed have plenty of targets here for the Katusha. Not forgetting you, not forgetting you. This thing here is just repairing on the front line. A little bold of it. Silver Beast, however, goes for the middle. Secured. And these engineers here, yeah, yeah, stepping in the circle. Alert Silver Beast. That something is in his backyard and it's not moles. Well, all the G43 packages has been given. There's a grenade being tossed somewhere on the doorstop there, or something. Mmm, yeah. Great caddy barrage. Minor damage done to the T34. Oh, well, seven, yeah, that, that was actually great. Oof. All right, all right. Soon, Silver Beast will reach the point when he can get a Panzer IV out. He is, in, however, reinforcing his troops down here, delaying his timing a bit for the Panzer IV. Oh, this has been spotted. And this thing. Nope, oh, not moving in yet. Ah, miss! Come on, Rakitten! Rakitten! Oh, that's... Oh my god, that's three misses in a row. Did he attack ground there or something? That was just atrocious. Both opening shots missed. And then a second... Or... Second volley also missed. Okay. <clears throat> Hey, triple am mine! Again, like I said, give the Soviets time to dig in and you'll find all sorts of nasty surprises. Then again, these guys here, you know, being the only squad on the field with a minesweeper, they can't be everywhere at once. Oh, I see. Or do I? Is he gonna go for the panther instead of the tiger here? My first thought was tiger, but then I remembered, ah, uh, panther. Panther, yeah. My money would be on the panther here. Uh, if he really wants something that's more doable to fight against this, but instead, I'd say a panther four first would be nice. But let's see, let's see what Silver Beast here will decides to go for. He has lost his fuel. Which is not making the prospect of any tiger coming out soon any uh, any less dreadful. Hmm. Dun 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 dun. Hey! 
Kadi doing lots of damage, but didn't get any models. Well, gonna get healed up. Little lucky stroke there for Silver Beast. I'm gonna get this fuel back. Shumine, yeah, laid down there. Remember always to queue up a shift move order. Because this formation here is just a dead giveaway to your opponent that you have been laying a mine. Meanwhile, the leaks, they are trying to do their best to soften up Ruba Gruber's um, defense. Oh my goodness, another one of those 85s. And a Panther is a go. He is really going for the Tiger. Holy moly. You have heard about King Tiger stalling. Now get ready for the prequel. Tiger stalling. Yeah, he's definitely gonna stall for the tiger. He's got the manpower. Needs a one and a half fuel minute to go. Provided that he can hold on to his territory. Still clinging on to his leaks to do the softening up here. The leaks did get rid of sandbag there, forcing these guys to run away. T-34 here. Yikes. Ruber Gruber. Suffering him heavy engine damage. Okay, okay, okay. He could even get another T-34 and then... Well, what he needs to do right now, Ruba Gruber, get this thing repaired. There we go. And then he pff, simply dive the two Rakatans here. Especially since these guys here, they are in no position to help out much. Rakatans, they are, however, falling back. But yeah. Cry havoc and let loose the dogs of war, but let's see if Ruba Gruber is... Passive play here will allow Silver Beast. Oh my goodness. Now now it's here. Now it's here. Well, there goes the uh, the Hail Mary from uh, Ruba Gruber. Now there's a tiger to support. It's for Kitten Warfers or the other way around, depending on the situation. <clears throat> Hiccups. Uh, well, that was rather expensive to wait for this thing as his opponent has built up his uh, armament. Yeah, eight pop cap left. Yeah, that's a no go for any more tanks. <laughs> you could go for an SU uh, 76 if you so wanted to, but he instead he goes for. This is gone, which is not bad at all. Careful, there's a mine there in front of you. There, there's also a tank in front of you. Mm -hmm. Can you fire? The enemy has taken out the fly huh. Didn't even get scratched. But these guys are getting scratched while trying to scratch the T-34. Actually, it does so, but the tiger is all over here. There is strength in numbers, and then there's strength in strength. Looking at the tiger here. Still clinging on to that top VP. He's down to 190. Goes for another Stern Pioneer. A rather unusual choice. Could do with two Minesweepers, I suppose. And also slap on double Rakatans there. Maybe we'll see a new meta. Well, looks like he got a bullseye on that one guard. As he's lying dead center in the crater. Flares, 
seemingly being used. All right, Raquel, and show what you're made of. Both hit. Nice. <laughs> Feels odd praising the uh, Raketten for doing its job. <laughs> uh, anywho. Tiger, 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 tiger. Mighty tiger. Do have snares available. In the form of buttoning and AT grenades. Oh, if he only he had some barrage available to him here. Something heavier than... You know, the league, that would have been nice. 120 millimeter, only two kills, but double the vet stars. Looks like those leagues, five and six, yeah, they are starting to rack up some kills. And the tiger, tiger, tiger bounces. As it were at a late night disco. Ah, Rakit, you're dead. Well, rip. Mm -hmm. uh, still no sweepers here. Anyway, gonna get that. Gotta get the BPs. Things are slowly coming together here for Silver Beast, but man, it's slow. Next up on the menu for Silver Beast, not Obersoldaten, but rather another tank would be fine. A Panzer IV would do, if he can. Yeah, that's 14 pop cap, so he should be able to squeeze that in. Oh no. Rip. Looked like a move order was issued here, and then they got, just got cut down as they were trying to get into green cover. Oh, Silver Beast about to be triple capped again. Again, flares. All oh, right. It's this thing doing the flare. I did ask myself, why would he be flaring that close to himself? But nope, it was his opponent that was flaring the front line. Smart. All right, work that middle DP. Counter flare. <clears throat> Counter flare. Now that's an odd term. Sir, they're looking at us. Quick, look again. Ura. Snare. Mm, any follow up? Oh, this is. Yep, that. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, well. Another one gonna get built. Smoke coming in. Also, gives a bit of vision. Neat. Um. Man, lots of fighting going on. Oh, righty then. That's a DP. One of his Sturmpires could pick that up. If he gets the opportunity to do so. Mm hmm. Well, rest in pieces. Ruber Gruber apparently losing his grip on this match. And losing a squad. Tiger, Tiger, still need repairs. <laughs> Both Sturmpires, they're long away. So far away. No mechanics in base either. Mm -hmm. Well, yep, you do the shortest straw. Back to base. Nope, he's calling them back too because this thing arrived. Oh my. Silver Beast goes for his last truck. I don't really think that he 
needs the repair um, pioneers now that he has two of them on the field. Eh. But he's the boss. He is indeed the boss. Pop capped. Can't get out any more tanks. Well, that's unfortunate. Having to <laughs> only rely on his heavy tank here. Oh, well, <clears throat> I suppose it's... It's what they'll have to make do with. But it's going to be better once this thing gets more vet on it. Get it a little more powerful. Command Tiger ability. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bit two. Yeah. Extra range. Faster rotation speed. Now bit three. Faster reload speed. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, get it up to vet three. Then we have a beast on our hands. Stone pioneers being sacrificed for the pop gods. Pop gods. Late night disco continues. DPs, DPs for the skies. Nope. A little bit dangerous to go in there. There's a heavy machine gun, or rather, there were a heavy machine gun watching over the the DP. Hello. One, two. Another volley could do wonders. And there it is. Wonderful. Ruba Gruber, however, yeah, he's just gonna replace it, but man, he's been losing his T-34s and he can't afford to take those trades. Though trade is not the right word here because he's getting nothing in return. Yeah, that's rough. Where are the others? All the way over there. Since he only has one tank, would it help if he got Panzer Strix on these guys? Oh, mine sweat. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, at least Gruber Gruber is holding the Northern VP. There is something sitting in. Ah, that would be guards sitting in the little house. Guarding the victory point. And you're shooting at our vehicle. Uh, Katusha going down to leaks, maybe? One more shot. <laughs> oh, right. The leaks. The leaks. Wow. 11 and 10 kills. Beastly. Yeah, get, get the weapon crew to pick up the DP. That would be fun. 78 points left for Silver Beast, though he is he is kicked into high gear and is beating Ruber Gruber. Should probably change his name to Robert Grave, seeing as he has taken quite a few losses here as of late and could even lose this one now. Out of range. Tiger is being repaired. Hmm. Yep. Hey, weren't there two more of you guys? Hmm. Hmm. Tiger is gonna have a little looky. Should be careful though. Could get snared by these guys. And then, once snared, then the Siskon and the T 34 could do some damage. Could do some damage. Oh my! Oh, right! It's not the 120mm mortar, it's just a. Right, of course, because the 120mm does not have flares. Yes, so. Ah! That's why this thing uh, is performing <laughs> as it is. <laughs> huh. And here I thought it would have been this. 
Not the case, though. Hmm. Why would you even go for this thing when you have that? Really? He really wanted the flares that badly? I'm going to look at them rather than kill them. Pretty sure Silver Beast appreciates it. Ah, uh, Ruba Gruba replacing more of his losses this time. Katusha. Twenty-one kills on the Taika and yet another DP has been dropped. Just one of minis. Well, one of another. <laughs> hmm. Guards killed? They died in the building up here? Forgotten? There were... Hmm? Man, Ruba Gruber has really lost his grip on this match. His... Manpower reserves has been depleted. Stroop reserves have taken a hit. Yeah, this is not good at all for uh, Mr. Gruber. And looks like the underdog is making a win. Fun fact here, Ruber Gruber is... Not Ruber Gruber, but Silver Beast also had an underdog match against Silligath, which he won. Is he gonna take another win here? DP were picked up here. All right, men, go down there and. But there, sir, there's a tiger. Yes, go down there. <laughs> Flare being used. But the Katusha misses every single shell. Could have been better off with the creepy barrage that was available to him. But that's not the case. Um, Ruba Gruber, however, he has plenty of VPs to play around with. Plus, he can also use Mark Vehicle versus the Tiger if he were to dive it at some point. But yeah, Ruba Gruber, he has been seemingly struggling, uh, finding a good angle for his T-34 to get in there and do lots of damage, and Silver Beast actually getting lucky there. Lying on vehicle self-repair, crew self-repair, rather than having uh, engineers. CT-34, secure mode is unlocked, Ooh, fast reload, and more fast reload, so fast. Mm. All is quiet on the front, at least these guys are protected by the heavy machine gun. <clears throat> right, Ruba Gruber. Gonna get some fuel, gotta get this VP. As Silver Beast is about to get a triple cap on him. Wow. Anyway, the mortar here is continuing to be a pain for Silver Beast. <clears throat> Katusha fire, I see that. I see it. What's it going for? This could be trying to prepare a little bit here for a fight in the middle. On the enemy fire, I have the tiger here on the field. I will get them. Yep. All right, Ruba Gruba, you need a play here because you are not winning this talk of war battle. And no snares either here. Oh, man. He didn't want to go in because he saw that. <sighs> oh, well, well. And he can't take this because now all this infantry is there. 
he used his Katusha on the heavy machine gun rather than saving it for, um, you know, targeting the Rakatans, which meant that he would have an easier opportunity to dive the tiger here. But now there is an opportunity. Come on. Rupert, Rupert, go down there. The tiger is escaping. Rupert, Rupert, find the tiger. Yeah, can he even see it? Nope. It just slipped past him. Well, ain't that sad. Oh, steals that, however. Meanwhile. Yeah, I got to serve off a little Molotov cocktail there. Are you guys cold? And he retreats that squad. Which was uh, not necessary. Another misclick. Lots of manpower stock for Ruber Gruber. More guards? Not sure more guards is the answer here. And now Silver Beast getting the shoebox of death. If you hadn't gone for the guards, what should you go for instead? I'd say an issue 85. Pfft, or a, a T-34, a small one or a big one. How much pop cap would that be? Nine. Yeah, he could could have gone for another T-34 instead of the guards have three of them cause some havoc. Because I don't think he can win just by talk of warring his, his opponent down here because it hasn't been working ever since Silver Beast uh, got his army composition together. Hey, there we go. Picked up the DP, finally. Yeah, 200 points now. And counting. Uh, one of them gets around here, but... Yeah, that that's dead now. That's dead. Now he's replacing it. Yeah, well... I'd say Silver Beast army composition here beats whatever Gru Ruber Gruber is planning on having. And the shoe box of death moves into position and what a beautiful position it was. <laughs> Goodbye, Katusha. Goodbye, Ruba Gruba's chances of winning. <sighs> well, still has some room to go with, but I don't know what happened here with Ruba Gruber. It was like a switch was flicked and then suddenly he kept on taking losses after another, one after another here. Some of them avoidable. Yikes. Yeah, I don't think he's paying attention up here. Yeah. That's a retreat now. Another T-34 trying to come up here to clear out the T... The T-34 is trying to clear out the T-34. Trying to clear out this victory point. Aha! Yes! That was a warning shot. See what I did to that tree? Yeah? That could be your arms falling off if I manage to hit you. But this tree here, it continues to take shells for you. Okay, there we go. Finally gets a shot in. Meanwhile, has Ruba Gruba lost it? Yes, he has because he sent his cis guns into enemy fire. <laughs> All right. I think that's GG. I think Ruba Gruba has given up here no more movement sync error detected indeed game over gg silver beast is the top underdog once again after um, taking yet another victory against a highly ranked opponent so good on him and ruber gruber yeah as i mentioned before that switch and then loss 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 final loss that was bad sadly oh well i hope you enjoyed this uh, cast here and um, this one goes out to all the underdogs out there it is possible to beat a high ranked opponent just give them your all and if you lose well then maybe it was a learning experience but enough of me rambling see you later you wonderful people goodbye
But hey, we got some stats, don't we? We got stats. Actually, a positive KD for Ruba Gruber, surprisingly. Hmm. Moving on to the graphs. They are graphy. First, T-34 tanks arrive. Katusha arrives. Another T-34. And then the Tiger tank arrives. But let's just see points held. Oh my. Yeah, it doesn't do any good by the time the Tiger arrived. Not immediately, but holy schmoly. Look at this here. Ruba Gruba just completely dominated. Uh, but... Then he didn't dominate. <laughs> wow. Resource float being resource floaty. And this thing, let's just take another look at it. Yeah, steadily, steadily. And loss, 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 loss. All these losses. Which he initially could easily come back from, but then it started to hurt. Anywho, that would be all for the stats, you wonderful peeps. I'll see you later. Goodbye.